How to check the health of your system's hard disk drive and solid state drive. To get the most out of your PC and avoid serious data loss situations, checking and maintaining the quality of your storage device is essential. In this video, we'll go over how to examine the health of storage devices. Your system either has a hard disk drive, solid state drive, or both, to store your data and operating system. In hard disk drives, data is read from a rotating magnetic disk, called a platter, which serves as a storage medium for information. This indicates that there are physically weak areas that could result in malfunctions. Whereas a solid-state drive has no moving mechanical parts like a spinning magnetic disk and stores the information in flash memory chips. So, SSDs are faster, more durable, more compact, quieter, and consume less energy. However, SSDs have limited write cycles, which means, frequent and heavy use can degrade their performance over time. The storage drives use the same diagnostic and troubleshooting tools, no matter the type of drive you're using. If your system uses a hard disk then, the easiest preliminary check is a physical inspection. Dust can harm your computer components, so blow off the dust to keep your system case clean. Look for possible exterior damage and listen for sounds like continuous grinding or loud ticks like this. Such sounds indicate serious issues. The other test methods are using built-in operating system utilities, using software, or using UEFI hardware diagnostic tools provided by the manufacturer of your system. Let us begin with the methods one by one. Windows Smart Check Self-monitoring, analysis, and report technology, also known as Smart, is a monitoring system built into most drives. It is the quickest way to look for issues with your storage device. When smart data indicates possible drive failure, software on the PC will alert users to help prevent data loss. To check smart status in Windows, you will first need to launch the command prompt. Type CMD in the search box and click on the command prompt. Once this is open, type the following command and hit enter. WMIC. Disk drive. Get. Model. Comma. Status. Please write the command as shown on the screen. This command will return with the model and status for each hard drive you have installed on your machine. OK means that the drive is functioning correctly, and you don't need to worry about near future data loss. But if you get pred fail in the status result then, it means that the drive is failing, and you should start taking immediate measures to avoid data loss. Note that while running the WMIC on the command prompt, an error message may appear stating, WMIC is not recognized as an internal or external command, operable program, or batch file. In that case, we need to provide the full path to WMIC executable. We can also set its path in the environment variables, but for now, we will use the full path directly in the command prompt. The command will be as shown on the screen. Then press enter. The result will be shown. Although the smart hard drive test is a useful tool, it cannot correct logical errors. If you want to try to rectify the logical errors, you can use the check disk utility of Windows. To run the check disk, search CMD in the search box. Then run the command prompt as administrator. Once this is open, type the following command. Check disk. Then the volume letter on which you want to run the check disk command. For us, it is G drive. Followed by a colon. Then forward slash F. Note that the forward slash F parameter is used to fix the logical errors on the disk. Without the slash F parameter, the check disk will run in the read only mode and scan for logical errors on the mentioned drive without attempting to fix them. Press enter. The process will begin. It will take time depending on your volume size. 
It examines in multiple stages the file system structure, file name linkage, security descriptors, looks for bad clusters in user file data, etc. If everything is fine then, we will see a message stating, Windows has scanned the file system and found no problems. No further action is required, followed by some statistics of what the check disk has tested. If you wish to run the check disk on the system's next startup then, type the command. CHKDSK. Then the target drive letter, followed by a colon. Then forward slash R. Press Enter. When asked for permission to schedule a check disk on the next startup, press Y and then press Enter. The scheduling is done. When you boot into the system next time, the system will automatically run the scheduled check disk task. If logical issues are found, the check disk will also attempt to fix them. In the next method, we will be using third-party software to look at various parameters of the storage device. We will be looking at Crystal Disk Info. It is an open-source hard drive health check software with multiple functionalities. It provides almost all the data related to your hard drive and can be used as a drive monitoring tool. You can get it from its official website, a link to which is provided in the description. So, in Crystal Disk Info, we can see the attributes of the selected disk. This is our hard drive. We can see the rotation rate. For SSD, this parameter will be blank. Power on count, which is, the number of times power to the drive has turned on. Then this is the disk's power on hours parameter. We can see the health status here. Good means the disk is healthy. This tells the temperature of the disk. The other attributes that we can see are firmware version, serial number which I have selected to hide. These are features enabled for this disk, etc. So, it gives a fair idea about the health of the disk drive. You can also use the proprietary software provided by the manufacturer of the storage device. To give examples, here we have dashboard, provided by Western Digital. It shows my SSD's health as 100%, which is perfect. For Seagate, we have C Tools. For Samsung, we have Samsung Magician. For Kingston, we have the Kingston SDD Manager. Crucial provides Crucial Storage Executive, and so on. The official links to these proprietary software are provided in the description. The next method to check the storage device's health is, using the UEFI hardware diagnostic tool. Most system manufacturers, provide UEFI hardware diagnostic tools. The good thing about this tool is that it runs before booting into the operating system. So, the factor of involvement of a corrupted operating system resulting in hardware issues, is eliminated. My system's manufacturer is HP. Pressing escape after powering on, will open the startup menu. Pressing the F2 button will start system diagnostics. Here we get options to perform tests on RAM memory as well as hard drive. We will select the hard drive option. We can either perform a quick check or an extensive check. I would suggest to perform an extensive check. Though it will take more time, the performed check will be thorough. Due to time constraints, we will go for a quick check. At this stage, the utility is asking to select the drive on which we wish to perform the check. It gives us the option to select the first available drive. The second option enables us to perform the check on all the available storage drives. And the third option lets us choose the storage drive for the check. We will select the third option. It has listed my both storage drives. The first one is my hard drive and the second one is a SSD. We will perform the check on the SSD. Press the number 2 on the keyboard. See, we have entered 2 for selection. Now press enter. The test will begin. We can see that our SSD passed the smart check. The estimated remaining time is shown as around 1 minute. For extended tests, it will be a lot more. When the test is completed, the result is shown. Our SSD has passed both the smart and short disk self-test. If the test fails then, you will receive a failure ID. 
you may receive a warning in the result. A failed or a warning result means, appropriate measures need to be taken to avoid data loss. Please, visit your system manufacturer's website to find out how to access your system's UEFI hardware diagnostic tool. So, these were four ways to check your system's storage device's health. If you like this information then, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your time and patience. Have a nice day.